So I've been noticing a lot of people in the comment section telling me that I need to try the MCW with the conversion kit. And I've always been a bit hesitant because me and the MCW have never really just kind of seen eye to eye. Well, I brought it into Modern Warfare Zombies today and I slapped on the mags of holding plus all the best stuff. We got a legendary ether tool plus a flawless crystal and this thing actually blew me away, guys. We're going to test this thing out a bunch inside of the red zone and then we're also going to go complete the Elder Dark Ether completely solo. But with that, welcome on back to the channel, everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. I appreciate everybody that stops by the video today if you're into zombies content or anything call of duty consider rocking that like button man we just hit 14,000 subscribers and i cannot thank everyone enough for all the support lately i ended up setting a huge goal of 20,000 subscribers that i would love to hit by the end of summer and so far I, there's not a doubt in my mind that we won't hit that so i really didn't want to waste any time here starting off i just ran straight into the red tier zone and we got a contract doing an outlast now granted this was before i got all of my perks but even without them like without deadshot this thing was still handling itself amazingly just absolutely tearing through these tier three zones zombies like they are nothing. The great thing about this build is too is we slapped on the purifier so that way if we ever run out of bullets we can just switch to that thing and just immediately delete whatever's in front of us. Not too much out of this contract here but this is when I decided to go and get my perks and now this gun is starting to just be snappy as all hell. It's one of the things I've always loved about getting the dead shot perk is you can just sit there and spam your left trigger like just aim in and out and fire at the same time and it's almost like you have aim bods just snapping the zombies heads. Even without the purifier I'd say if you guys got the thing things to upgrade this thing it does amazing in the red tier zone i honestly think i've been absolutely sleeping on this weapon especially with the conversion kit because the way it is and with this loadout i'm just absolutely melting everything out here we ended up getting a weapon raid stash contract in here inside of the same building and we're gonna stand at the same spot and we don't even have to move man you're gonna see here like i said once you run out of ammo it's really easy to switch to that purifier and then just tap it on these zombies i'm honestly so happy that they haven't nerfed this purifier yet kind of surprised at the same time Time, but it's been really fun and I don't think that it's gonna get changed until season three well, you never know we might even get season three and they might not even touch it I just recently did a video when I went around with a blood burner and a purifier and I tried killing as many mega abominations in a single match as I could and we ended up killing 18 I bet if you had a scorcher case you could probably kill a bunch more that's a great way to just kill these things in absolute seconds farm up some really good loot or just do the hardest things that there is to do in this game it just this flamethrower makes it easy not the greatest loot out of this contract either and that's another thing man i feel like i've been getting better things dropping from the mega abominations than i've been actually getting from the loot out of the contracts themselves Tier three loot lately it just kind of seems like booty cheeks to me look at these three mimics that tried to run up on me they had absolutely no chance the third one did grab me but he didn't live too long after that i would say if you guys got this conversion kit unlocked and you got a spare mags of holding go ahead and throw it on here and try this thing i think you guys will really like it look at this i found this mega abomination just standing here and i think he was glitched out because he refused to move at all he didn't be me he didn't move he didn't charge at me which honestly made it quite hard to hit him right in that mouth where i needed to being just overrun with all of these zombies plus i had a disciple on me and another mangler and like all this stuff luckily this mcw is actually holding its own and i really didn't have to use the flamethrower too much honestly I actually tried to avoid using it as much as possible unless i absolutely needed to but yet again that's also what kind of makes this loadout so op is that not only is just this mcw with the mags of holding itself op but once you put the flamethrower with it too you are unstoppable it's like this mega abomination here if you realize that you're out of ammo but you still got your flamethrower you can deal with this guy in seconds and look this is exactly what i was talking about guys this guy ended up dropping us an epic ether tool and a refined ether crystal this is why i say i honestly think it's worth it to come in here and just farm the hell out of these things right now well, i figured it was about time to head on into the elder dark ether but we should do one more hvt before we go in there just to kind of see what this thing's doing on one of those we ended up getting a mango now manglers here inside of the red tier zone can be pretty damn tough especially if you're not hitting him directly in the head or in that cannon now this mcw didn't like delete him instantly but it also did a good enough job that i didn't feel like i had to bust out the flamethrower look at that just another damn epic ether tool for me these things always ride on that line whether i'm not sure if i want to put them in my bag because i might get other stuff that i want to fill up as yeah, it's one of those things plus we had all these straggler zombies that were running around and this mcw handled all those guys with these now i decided to defeat one of these ether or just seeing if I could get a legendary ether tool out of here. I ended up using up all of my damn ammo doing this, and I realized there was a mega abomination right here, which kind of scared the shit out of me, so I popped over to the flamethrower and just dealt with him right away. This gun, as it stands right here, like with the mags of holding and how it's upgraded and everything, this is just kind of like a take care of all gun, and I'm absolutely loving it. Not only does just the regular gun itself deal with like the red zone really well, and if you're having trouble with any bosses or anything, you can just immediately switch over to the flamethrower. It's a win-win. So here 
here we are we are in the elder dark ether and i'm gonna grab my first contract here our hvt now this one kind of threw me off because i ended up getting something else that wasn't a mega abomination i was even heading out the door gonna go towards the mega abomination because that's what i usually get we ended up getting a disciple which kind of threw me off i even saw a comment from somebody that's saying the elder always spawns a mega abomination well now i know that's not true and as you guys can see here we tried to take him on with just the regular gun and we were doing some damage to him we got his health down about a quarter of the way but there was just so many damn zombies that were surrounding me it was actually kind of insane i felt like there was more zombies around this disciple than there is usually around the mega abomination but i tried a bunch of stuff i did throw some decoys i even eventually used my ether shroud but inevitably while being absolutely surrounded plus with this mega abomination shooting at us at the same time we eventually ended up going down so after i used one of my self reses i finally just said you know what fuck it we're gonna use the flamethrower and just get rid of this guy absolutely no sense in having to struggle when we can deal with something this fast now nothing too great out of this one but he did end up giving us a blood burner key and i will definitely take that but if you guys didn't know there's a glitch with the blood burner right now where if you nose dive it into the water it'll go underneath the water and you can drive on the ground and you won't lose any health and the zombies can't get you or anything and you can just stay in there if you want to go to the bathroom or whatever but that's another cool little thing you guys can do with the blood burner if you didn't know that we're gonna quickly get our ether extractors done here i did bring in three monkey bombs so i knew i'd be completely set for doing this thing look at this mcw it's so good it's making these disciples actually disappear i don't know why there is so many damn zombies left after you complete this contract it's honestly kind of annoying i just decided i was gonna bust out the flamethrower and get rid of them but the pull out of this contract was definitely not that bad we ended up getting not only the vr11 case but we got those vr11 schematics that's another damn epic ether tool i swear every time i see one of those it just pisses me off i'm like you should be orange or gold or whatever the hell it is <laughs> now we're gonna go up here and grab our very last contract our outlast contract and i like to run along the road right here here just so that way I can stop off at this ammo refill station before I jump in here. This contract is really going to show how this MCW is going to be handling this Elder Dark Ether. These zombies are a little bit tougher than the ones that we see inside of the red tier zone. Well, this one will definitely kind of put it to the test. I don't know if you guys seen this or who all is going to be really excited for this, but I've seen that Rebirth Island is getting a brand new trailer tomorrow and I am really excited for that. Rebirth was one of the only things that honestly kept me playing Warzone for the longest time. I know a lot of people have like really fond memories of her dance and stuff believe believe me trust me i do too but rebirth island was where it was at for me not only is it the original map for blackout when it was alcatraz plus we got you know mob of the dead and blood of the dead that was also set here so we got zombie maps that were located there as well it's just so much nostalgia and memories for that one map in that one location they would be missing out on a huge opportunity if they do not include rebirth into this zombies mode in some sort of a way personally what i would love to see is them actually incorporate rebirth as you know another modern warfare zombies map like another full-on map that we can queue into but i have a feeling that that's probably not what they're gonna do if i really had to take a shot in the dark and guess i would say that they're going to turn rebirth island into probably another dark ether rift it only makes sense and especially i would think they would probably save it for towards the end of the modern warfare zombies life cycle this rebirth isn't all that big but it would probably end up being one of the bigger dark ether locations it's just a prime area for them to set up easter eggs like locked doors and other things like like that or hell possibly even set up like a boss that we could maybe spawn in and like the prison or something that would be pretty cool i know i've been rambling about rebirth for a minute but i'm kind of excited guys as you guys can see this build absolutely handled the dark ether with ease absolutely shredded in the red tier zone this one definitely gets two thumbs up from me and i definitely think you guys should try it the loadout's gonna be up on the screen right here greatly appreciate everybody that stopped by the video be sure to drop it a like if you enjoyed it or if you found it all informative it's gonna be a video popping up on the screen that i think you guys should check out have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one.